Remembering the life of a holy man, the life of William Cardinal Keeler, who died last week at the age of 86 with Little Sisters of the Poor praying over his soul. Monsignor Richard Hillgartner from St. Joe's in Cockeysville credits the Cardinal with his deep faith, and he said he ran into Pope John Paul years ago when the Pope asked Monsignor, where you're from? Monsignor told him, and the Pope said in his Polish twang, uh, Baltimore, Keeler, he's a great man. <laughs> you imagine getting an endorsement from the Pope, from the Pope? that you're a great None man? None higher. Well, only yes. one more higher. Yes, he was. ABC 2 News, Don Harrison on how heaven is a better place. Hundreds came to the Cathedral of Mary Our Queen to pay their last respects to Cardinal William Keeler. Cardinal Keeler died last week, spending his last days at the Little Sisters of the Poor in Catonsville. Cardinal Keeler served the church for more than six decades. The Cardinal came to Baltimore in 1989 from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Cardinal Keeler was known for his acceptance of many religions, and that was prevalent today, as those from many faiths chose to show the respects for Cardinal Keeler. All of you gathered here at this Archbishop William Lorry oversaw the funeral mass today. Commissioner Davis and Governor Larry Hogan were in attendance. We've been like brothers for years. We're the same age. Jim Larkin was a friend of Cardinal Keeler and came here from Connecticut to give his last respects to his companion of more than 30 years. He was an outstanding church leader, uh, but humble. People wanted to follow, and given his motto, he was an outstanding evangelist. Ecumenical leaders from around the country were present as well, a sign of what an important leader to the religious community Cardinal Keeler was. I don't think there was uh, anything or anyone the Cardinal ever forgot. A, a leader that remembers is gentle and builds bridges. Uh, let's ask the Lord to send us more of those. Cardinal William Keeler will be laid to rest in the crypt at the Basilica downtown. In Baltimore, Don Harrison, ABC2 News.